start things up so that I don't miss anything. So, we'll see. Oh, oh, a little wheat field. Please tell me you guys can see that. There you go, now you can. A little wheat field, Nico's in a little wheat field. You go, Nico. Are we having a little dream? Oh, 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 where are we? Oh, we see something. Oh, there you go. Bye, Nico. You're going to the. You're going to the village. It's just a little dream he had. Oh, Glacier had another dream. I saw. Did you see this one too? Uh huh. Yeah, I saw it. I was in a big field like the one in my last dream, and I saw my village. Then I woke up. Oh. Oh, I don't think this world has anything like that. Well, without a sun, it can't really, can it? I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. They are a little weird. They've got, like, little lights. And these balls of moss floating in the water? I guess there there are those too, huh? Wait, is moss even a plant? I, I think so. If algae's a plant, moss is a plant. Mm -hmm. So have you seen a wheat field before? Uh, not as often as you'd expect, given where I live. Yes, I have seen a wheat field. Seen more cornfields and more uh, more soybean fields than corn uh, than wheat fields, but I have seen wheat fields. Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? They really are. Honestly, all like large fields of cereal grain have their own kind of inherent character that I find very pleasant. The one around my the one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's true. It's really pretty. I need to turn this up on my end real quick. Let me just turn you guys up a little bit. Make sure I've got my sound. Oh, it's trying to use the microphone as a speaker. That's why. That'll do it. I'm like, why can't I hear anything? Mm -hmm. That's why. No, I want to keep playing the game, please. It's like an ocean. A food! It is like an ocean of food. Oh, but wait, there's food in regular oceans, too. Yeah, there is, I guess. I like fish or crabs. That's what I was thinking. Never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I've been to the ocean a few times. It's really cool. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. Yeah! Look at him! He's so excited! The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here, either. I don't think the water around here has glowy stuff, either. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty unique effect, I'd say. Oh, but I guess it's because the world's already so dark. Yeah. I guess we would have trouble seeing little glowy things, wouldn't we? You know, I used to be scared of the dark. Oh, well, I'm glad you got over it. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. Yeah. Well, not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Maybe that's why you have the sun? It's good you got over that. Or, me too. Hmm. I would say it's good you got over that. Because that's kind of what I said in passing. I guess. Otherwise, I wouldn't really last long here, would I? Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. Also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. Well, I hope I guide you good, little guy. Thanks for that. I hope I'm so happy to help you. Maybe we should head out now. I agree. Okay, so we needed to take the sea. Oh my gosh, my arm is sticky. Agonies. Hang on. Let me see if I can. That's the trouble with that lime syrup, is it's, it's in a jar, and so it doesn't pour very well when you're done being sticky. Good. <clears throat> Not quite done being sticky. Well, now I, now I think it's just my arm being sticky. Yes. Very, very sanitary here on uh, GlacierNester.com. 
You wouldn't believe the prices, by the way, they charge you. Oh my gosh, it's still in my glasses. Um, you would not believe the prices they charge for a good .com domain, by the way. I was making inquiries into some domains, and uh, one of the domains I was asking for, somebody wants $75,000. If somebody else has jumps on that domain before me, they can keep it. $75,000. Plus $130 maintenance fee every year. Just an absurdist amount of money. Anyway. We have our little seed. We've signed our little book, so we need to go into here. Right? Have you found something to write with? Yes, we did. In the items, we now have a feather pen. Oh, no. Uh, we have a feather pen. And... Yeah, we have a feather pen. So we just select the feather pen and talk to the guy. I would like to talk to the guy. Okay. I found a pen! Sort of. Good. Please write your name here. Is he writing his name? Good luck. I think he wrote his name. Good job, Nico. What are we gonna find in here? We wanna run? I think we wanna run. Zoom. Okay, we're up here now. Is there another door? No. I just wanted to check if there's another door. Oh, oh, the... What in the world? I agree, what in the world? Let's maybe run from that. Oh, wait. Let's try to talk to it first. No, we can't talk to it? Okay, goodbye. Oh, the, the, what, another one? What are you? Why are you red? Well, you don't look very happy with me. Oh, there's more of you? Why are there so many? Why are you so angry? Don't make little glitchy squares at me. I didn't do it. Oh. Oh! Oh, he gets to see a big city! Look at all the light! Oh! So pretty. Oh, oh, don't look at the- don't look at the railing. Oh. Sorry, it's doing that weird thing that sometimes games do where it, like, scrolls left to right and it's shimmy. Oh, oh the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge understand what you must do here. I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. On the surface? Look down, Swan. Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta get down the last stairs. Find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? I agree, Nico. What does it mean? Once, once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for the leads. After all, having fun is not hard when you have a library card. Okay. Thank you. I'll keep going then. I wish you luck. I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. Only the bearer of the sacred kernel is permitted access to the garden. Well, you'll never guess what I have. I have a kernel. I'm afraid this area. I, I have the sacred kernel. Oh, like a kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady in the glen. Mm. That is indeed the kernel. Then it is your duty to regrow her. Regrow her? She doesn't just disappear. She got to feel the warmth of the sun, and now we get to replant her. Let's go. Do you understand what you must do? Um, I think so. I'm very tempted to say yeah. I'm very tempted to say no, just to make sure. Uh, yes, I do know what I need to do. 
may now pass through here to access the garden. Thank you. There's a little, there's a little pool there. No, we can't go that way. The bridge is falling out, so we gotta walk up here. Oh, we walk into a, into a door. Oh! Wow, this looks very important. This looks very, like, stately. These are, like, big, like, these are clearly meant to be, like, big water fountains. I assume we planted in the middle there. And hopefully, it gets light when we place the sun, you know? I put the seed in the planter. Hmm. There's no dirt in this pot. Oh, no. Will the seed really grow like this? I don't think so. We should have said no. No. Now we don't know if the seed will grow. This is awful. We should have said no. Wait, do we have anything we could, we could use with dirt? We have a tube of water. Can we put the little tube of water on? Oh, where are we taking the tube? We're taking the water sample to somebody. Uh, well, we don't have anything that uses dirt, so I guess the seed needs to do its best. Can I talk to you and ask you about the seed? Hello again. Messiah, do you need help? Well, explain again. Very well. You need to find a way to get to the library on the surface. That's not what I was- that's not what I was asking you about. No. Off you go, then. Off you go. You should have asked about the seed. Now I'm nervous about the little seed. No. Come on! saying you're the one that's concerned about why this isn't working. Oh, you're asking about the elevator so we don't take a thousand stairs. Come on. Come on. I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa. You're you. Oh, jeez. I didn't think this. I was going to run into... Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. I was afraid you were going to say that. Right now, this elevator is the only way to access the surface, but... Yeah, let's take a look at it. It, it. it looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but... Well, look at the button panel. Oh, there aren't any buttons. Yeah, that's a problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it ground area. It's been ripped out or something. I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. Maybe it exploded. Do you think we'll have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. I agree, Nico. We will figure it out. Let's go see if these arrow location of... Can't go that way. There's angry red squares. Remember those angry red squares from earlier? There's more of them. They're making me nervous. What's down here? angry red squares, a lot of angry red squares, detecting a lot of these angry red squares, they seem pretty important. So we can't reach up door or down door, but we can reach this door. Oh, oh, is this a diner? Is this a diner? Is this where I am? Hi. Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. You think it's because of the ground access elevator being broken? Uh, so I've been told. The city's infrastructure's been suffering a lot lately. Sky walls and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way to transport are those elevators and... Well, now, anyway. Huh. Well, thank you for your input, sir. What about this can? It's an empty coffee tin. 
Well, we took it. I hope it's important. Uh, can we, can we look out the window? Is that allowed? Can I look out the window? No? Okay. Thank you for your help, guy in the cafe. I appreciate you. Where are we going? Somewhere else. So now we have a coffee tin. I feel like we should have held on to the seed until we had the coffee tin. Maybe we maybe we find dirt for the seed. I sure hope so. Oh, this one just goes directly to so oh, oh. Is this like a big like executive's office? Who are you? Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. I suppose you do. Give me your time here is precious. Please that you cherish it. I will. Thank you, sir. You had some fun puns about time. That looks important. I'll take it. The tape dispenser is bolted to the table. Well, maybe I won't take it. I just take some tape. I just, like, take some tape from the tape dispenser? Is that an option for me? And yeah, no, apparently. Let's talk to this one. This... I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually. The surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing, and... Can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Good try. Wait a minute, computer. Computer usually, computer terminal usually means they're gonna talk to me instead of Nico. Some kind of computer terminal, not this time. Okay. Well, what's down here? Oh, hallway. I feel like there's music occurring and I can't hear it. There's another computer. Do you have something to say to me? You're going to need this. Take this film and expose it to the board. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. No way. No way. Weird film. Do I need to... Okay. Wait a minute. Do I need to, like... Click and drag the weird film? Hang on. Hang on. So, I would like to... Oh! Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! I just wiggled the, the thing around and it said four. Oh! Oh, they mean expose it to the void as in drag it off screen? Oh, this is cool. Oh God, how would you write this? Oh, you'd have to like... Oh, oh, that's cool. You'd have to like keep track of the coordinates of the window. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this game plays with the fourth wall in a completely different way that I'm used to. This is blowing my mind. Oh my gosh, this, this is an RPG Maker game? This was written in RPG Maker? Oh, this must have been so hard. Like pulling where the window is on the screen. Oh, I love this. I love this, this is really good. Honestly, to be fair, just the limes and the tonic water on their own are really good. The gin's adding a really fun note though. So it's 63014. Let's write that down so I don't forget it. Put that in chat so we don't forget about it. Okay. Does Nico have anything to say about us exposing the film? Hey, Nico. Oh, oh no, it just. Oh, we can re expose. Oh, what happens if we re expose the film? Same numbers. Okay. I'm alright with that. 
That's cool, though. That's so cool. Oh, I love this game. This game is so great. I'm glad nobody spoiled me on this. Although, unrelated, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to tell uh, Savaname, uh, welcome to the igloo. You subscribed, or you followed, rather. You followed between streams, and I almost didn't acknowledge you. Let's everyone give Savaname, uh, the savant about anime, I assume, uh, a hearty uh, igloo welcome, shall we? Okay, let's keep going. What, what this? Oh, I can't interact with that. That was so cool. I love this game. I love the things this game is doing. So there's a bunch of little... Vacuum tubes, question mark? Bathtubs? I don't know, we'll keep going. Huh. Maybe this is a way to one of the other door- Oh! Oh! Nico's stopping! Wow! I've actually never been to a big city before. Honestly, uh, even just a few years ago, I could say the same thing. And all these lights, all these people? I guess most of this world's population lives here. That's usually how it goes with cities, huh? Oh, the camera's panning off. Oh, look at that reflection! Oh, this game is so cute. Oh. Is there music happening I can't hear? I think there is. Why can't I hear the music? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I hope you all can hear the music. What's over here? It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. Yeah, I did. The tallest, the tallest buildings in our village is only two stories tall. This place is pretty big for you then, huh? Also, unrelated, Magnus is finally out of his little shirt. <laughs> He finally escaped shirt jail. Oh, Nico's looking at me. Hi. Hello, Nico. What about you? Where do you live? Uh. I'm gonna say a village. I live outside a town of 100 people. Normally. So I'm gonna say a village is an appropriate descriptor. I live in a village. A village? Just like me. You imagine living in a city like this? I've lived in a city like that a few times. I can't. It's kind of scary. It is a little scary. You don't know customs in a place, especially someplace that big and that startling. It's hard. But it is also really cool. I agree, Nico. Let's keep going, little buddy. We could have gone down there. Let's keep going right, though. I want to see what happens. Let's just keep going. If it loops, I'm going to be very confused. We just keep going. I do need to keep one eye on the top. Okay, okay. Well, that's that's the game telling me to go down in there. Uh. Oh, no. We went there. So, does something change when I go left now? Huh. I do need to keep one eye on the time. I'm hoping to catch that Artemis launch tonight. Uh, which, if you didn't know, uh, there's an Artemis launch. 11 local for me, 12 local to the launch site. Uh, so if you want to tune into that, uh, definitely do not stick around too long after the stream. Which normally I'm all for, like, stick around whoever for whoever we're raiding, but, like, I might not even raid somebody tonight. I might, like, see if somebody's streaming. Oh, wait. That door is different. That door was not that way last time we went here, right? We already talked to the, we already talked to the film guy. Did we already look, did we already look at the little vacuum tube thing? I don't know if we looked at it. Heavy piece of metal set in the wall. I think it might be a door or a kind of vault. 
There's a small screen here in the middle. Oh, there's a small screen. Can we enter numbers? I'm, I'm trying to get you to look at the screen. Uh, okay. Well, we'll come back to the little screen, Nico. Um, I might see if, like, NASA has some kind of, like, NASA TV on Twitch or something. Okay. Um, let's keep going. We have the little numbers from our little film reel. Let's check the left side now. Which, that's so cool that you, like, expose the film by exposing it to areas off your monitor. I wonder what happens if you're playing this on a, ga on a, on a system that has multiple monitors. Do you have to, like, drag it all the way to the corner of the monitor system, or does it count the void as the space between the two monitors? That's, a, that's an interesting question. Somebody comment that if they know. Abstract painting. Oh, art gallery. Hello, little robot. Do you keep you take care of the art gallery? Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I am a model eight XM home security bot TM serial number three nine two three two eight. 839W4 will have to report you. Oh, sorry. I, I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. You want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspicious activities detected. Zero. Well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad. Thank you, sir. It's odd. It is. You're right. There's a coffee table. That's a coffee table. Well, let's inspect the chairs and the bed. Are you sure? Someone lives here. You can't just sleep in their bed. Yes. <laughs> Cut away to Pokemon. Where you just sleep in random people's beds and describe the smell of their sheets. I am still monitoring you. Alert level has been set to low. Don't worry, I promise I'll be a good guest. Okay, Nico. This has been fun snooping in somebody's apartment, but I don't think we should. Oh, there's another door. Oh, there's two more doors. Oh, I can't just not inspect these other doors. Oh, phone. Phone is full of buzzes tonight. It's a wall of family photos. A person. Hello. <laughs> There's lots of dots of black Hey. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for your input. Is there anyone else in here? I don't think I see anybody. Else. Oh, wait. This looks important. It's a big penguin plush. <gasps> it's a penguin plush! Hello. Hello, penguin! I agree, Nico. Hello, penguin! Oh. Oh. Is the penguin saying something? I can't hear it. Hello, penguin. Very good, thank you. Okay, what's in this door? Oh, oh, more paintings? A picture of many ones and zeros. I, too, keep pictures of many ones and zeros. A painting of four robots playing cards. Oh, is this the robot's apartment? Oh, no, it's a different robot's apartment. Hello, would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Hmm. Do you know rock, paper, scissors? Desired difficulty level. Huh? Desired duration of turns. Uh, please set your timer. Never mind. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your attempt to play rock, paper, scissors with us. Computer's off. We're gonna snoop on the bookshelf. Can I snoop on the bookshelf? No. 
pile of large books. One of them is a robot instruction manual. Hi. My parents are like literally never home. I don't mind, I'm used to it. Besides, I've got model CWT WT second gen unit 4E to keep me company now. She still talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay. She's learning. If I work real hard, she might even be tame someday. I keep hearing that word. I keep hearing that word. What? Tame? Mm -hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. That's just a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. I was hoping you could. Oh. Man, we're never gonna find out what it means to tame a robot. Okay, we snoop in these people's apartments. Let's go down. Oh. Hallway. Sink. It's a sink. A small potted plant. Okay, there's some lockers. There's something on the floor. A pair of scissors. There's a pair of scissors on the ground. On a pile of hair? I don't think anyone's using it anymore, so... Did we take both the scissors and the hair? No, just the scissors. Okay. Noted. We have scissors now. You never know when you're gonna need scissors. More apartments. Picture of a ram wearing a pink little bow. It's a landscape portrait of a glen. Oh, oh! Are you sure you should have a sheep in here? It's an apartment. Oh, I'm sure the sheep just bad, but I didn't hear it. I just moved here from the glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been in the glen, right? Yeah! Everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer me up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy there. Oh. Oh. Good luck in your little apartment with your little sheep, dude. Wait a minute. You look like a Roomba. Roomba. Can I talk to the Roomba? I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little car. Resist the urge to ride on it. Oh, no. No, I want to tell Nico to ride the Roomba, but I don't want him to break it. No. Decisions! Don't break it, don't break it, don't break it! Uh, what? Don't do it! Um. Yeah! He's on the Roomba! Can we go? Oh, we get to ride it around! <laughs> oh man, we better we better vacuum these people's apartment since we're sitting on their Roomba. Better make sure everything's all everything's all very thoroughly vacuumed. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye on the time tonight. He said, mm -mm. "Nope, nope, nope. We need to vacuum every inch of the apartment." <laughs> I am unreasonably excited about Nico sitting on the little Roomba. Can I just leave? Can I just leave with the little Roomba, or is Nico gonna say something? Well, that was fun. I agree, that was very fun. <laughs> that was fantastic. I love this game. Plants. Let's see what's in this apartment. Plants! So many plants in this apartment. Hi. Hello there. You're a potted plant person. I love you. You have a lot of plants. I do. Grew all of them myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yup. You happen to have any dirt I can borrow? For growing plants, I mean. Yup. Do you need some? Yeah, I do, actually. Yes. I'm supposed to plant this seed left behind by a plant lady, but the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about, yeah. Here, take the whole bag. Thank you. Yeah, we have a bag of dirt. We got a bag of dirt. We can go we can go do bag of dirt things. Let's go back to the place we were and do bag of dirt things. Ooh, oh. Library? Library. Double library. Two of them. Oh no, but we love you, Katie. Mm -hmm. Here's the little guy. He is, he is. 
Oh, is this, is this a library? Is it a community center? What's going on here? Well, there's some stuff on this fridge. Ooh, fridge magnets. This fridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy? I hope nobody will mind us taking them. My fridge magnets now. Now I can magnet things. Okay, look at these books. File of large books. They look like phone books. Oh, good. There's somebody in the library. Large books. So the some pages are dog eared. Pile of large books. Oh, you didn't have anything to say about those? Who's this? Uh, hi there. Hello. You the Messiah? Mm hmm. Ooh, I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Oh, Mama made his little scarf. I love him. Tell her I like her needlework. I like her needlework. Good little scarf. I will, when I see her again. Oh, Nico, I hope you get to see your mom. Oh, buddy, it looks like I can unlock this door. You unlocked the door. Where did it take us? Nobody knows. Earlier in the hallway, probably. Yep, earlier in the hallway. Honestly, we probably should go back. Oh, yeah, that door is there, so we, uh... So we don't have to backtrack. Yep, let's go, let's go, uh, feed the seeds some dirt, shall we? Honestly, I'm hesitant to use the little water sample just in case, but like, what if we don't make it to the little water sample area? We may have to sacrifice the water sample for the druid, for the, uh, for the plant lady. Either way, we definitely need to give the plants some dirt. There's no way it can grow without dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Hope this helped you grow, little seed. Yeah! Seeds in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Oh no, we're gonna have to use the water sample. I'm sorry, little robot. Good thinking. Water should help the seed grow. Oh no, I'm sorry, little robot. Dirt's nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water for this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Uh, do we have anywhere else we can go? So we got, so we went here, here, and here. So we need to go down to the bottom right now. of stuff that might come in handy, but I'm not quite sure for what. Oh, well, that one, we just keep going down for that one, I guess. Oh, oh, a bed! Has it been that long already? Oh, I might have to let him sleep and then keep going. Well, when's the next bed? Oh, when's the next bed? We're gonna wait on the bed. We're gonna wait on the bed. He said he wasn't tired. He isn't tired yet, so we'll just remember that bed is there. Hi, we have some options now. What if I talk to you? You think you'll be able to make that button? No pressure. I'll just stick with my original plan for now. It's time to kick the door again. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yes. My foot hurts. Oh, buddy. Don't kick the door anymore if your foot hurts. Okay, what do we have that we can open the door with? We can maybe use the magnets? And, okay, idea. Uh, okay, the can is not magnetic, but it does... Okay. The man said something about magnets, but I don't see a way to fit these in the panel by themselves. So what if we... We can't combine the magnets and the scissors. What if we combine the scissors and the metal can? Well, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut a piece out of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. My thoughts exactly, Nico. Just like arts and crafts. Hmm, I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. I agree. How are we going to connect to the elevator for the magnet? Well, let's find out. Okay, so then we apply the magnets to the button, question mark. The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but... Well, what if I just folded the magnets under the edge? Hmm, so it's holding together, it's just barely. I hope that's good enough? Magnetized button. I feel like that's... What are we going to use the weird film for? The weird film's important. Hmm. It's 
it's been ripped out, how come there aren't any broken wires inside the empty slot? Well, I'm no engineer, but it's powered by some kind of magnetic technology. I know this much. So the magnet button will work? Alright, let's hope this works. Button fits snugly, and they can hear the machine powering on. The button completely fell apart. Oh! Hey, you tried. You try. Oh, the item's called You Try! Ooh. Okay. So, did we go down here already? Hmm. Hmm. We already went down here. Oh, Skype. Raz has once again forgotten that I'm straight away. My dear, I am on camera. Let me make sure nothing's on fire. Oh, she's just on her way home. I'm glad she made it home. It's always good to hear. It's good to hear that she made it home and say, You know, the Kutsu Top guy came in here saying the same thing. He asked me if I've seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground today I've seen is coffee grounds. He, uh, he didn't get it. <laughs> oh, fudge. A coffee machine. It's nearly full. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not in coffee. Me neither. I'm not really big on coffee. I, I, I like tea, and I like tea for its subtlety, so I don't really put things in my tea very often. You know, like if I want something in my tea, it better come in the blend, the I-M-H-O. Uh, unless it's like, unless it's really kicking me in the face, and it's like horrifically bitter. Okay. So we need to do something with the weird film. Okay, there's where the bed is. The weird film feels like the next step here. Maybe we can get that screen to do something. That screen we saw earlier when we saw it next to the film. I don't know what to do there. See, this is still this is still bolted down. Really apply any of our items to it, can we? No. Let's see. Let's see what happens with the you try. Can we use the you tried? Oh, I can hold it together with tape. Oh, we could. Should have done this in the first place. So now instead of a you tried, do we have a taped button? Yeah, buddy. Okay, let's go. Let's go press the button, Nico. Press the button. Man, I need to play DJ Hero. I don't know that I can do it on stream, but I need to play DJ Hero. I have the equipment around and I just need to set it up. Anyway. Mm -hmm. ripped out. <laughs> Things we've read earlier. Let's try the taped button. Tape button. Tape button. Let's hope this works. Oh! Oh! Things are jiggling! We know. Uh oh! 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 Whoa! Um, red squares, reactivating elevator services, please input security code to continue security code. We know what the security code is. What? That's never happened before. The, the squares. Huh? You saw them, right? The squares. They were on the door and... Oh no, the square stuff happens all the time. I made the whole security code thing. Then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Mm. 
I guess we should go look for a code. I'm way ahead of you, buddy. Weird film. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to select it and use it on the thing. Please input security code to continue. Six. Oh, nope. Now access denied. You don't know how to press buttons, do you? So, nope. Five, six. Elevator. Successfully armed. What? It works! Not what you did, but it actually works! Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Glacier, too. I did help. Oh, right. The whole Messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Are you sleepy? Sir, are you sleepy? He'll mention if he's sleepy. Oh no! I'm having trouble staying awake. We should find a place for me to take a nap. Absolutely, little guy. I know exactly where to go. Okay. So we've only been live for like an hour. I'm gonna let him do his little sleepy. And then I think I'm gonna start the game up and keep going. How do we feel? Anyone in chat have any, uh, Notation of the contrary. I think it's a good idea, but I also don't know the game. Either way, we need to let him sleep. He's very sleepy. He yawned and died of walking everything. But we look tired from walking. Is it alright if you take a nap? Absolutely. You take a little nappy nap, sir. Um, I'm gonna open the game and keep going. We've only been live for an hour. As long as I keep an eye on the time, I should be fine. Oh! Oh, it has sound this time! Oh! Hang on. Let me turn this down so you guys don't get it quite so bad. Oh! I don't know why I didn't have sound before, but now it has sound. I'd be that excited about that many pancakes too, little guy. I love it. I love pancakes. Look at how happy he is. His little whiskers and everything. Oh, I love his little man. Oh, now I want pancakes. <laughs> Glacier, I had another dream. Mama was there. Oh, it was his mama that gave him the pancakes. Oh. Did you see her? I did! And she made me pancakes! I saw! I think it was my birthday! Oh, birthday pancakes! People always get their favorite food on their birthday! <laughs> I love this little man! You have a birthday too? Yeah. Oh! Then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Mm -hmm. I've never considered pancakes my favorite food. I'm more of a waffles guy, but I do love pancakes. Wait, do you like pancakes? Yes, what reasonable person doesn't like pancakes? They're so good. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. That's a lot of pancakes for a little guy like you. I was so full they didn't eat anything else that day. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I'm trying to picture, have I ever eaten ten pancakes? I think the only time I've ever eaten ten, more than ten or ten pancakes is uh, one time. So when I was trying to stream Code Lyoko, right, I was like, yeah, we're going to have victory pancakes. We're going to go to the IHOP. We're going to have victory pancakes. And the IHOP was closed. So that I went uh, the next day to the IHOP and I hadn't eaten anything yet because, of a, because I was a college student at the time. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to eat an a frankly unreasonable amount of pancakes for all you can eat pancakes. And that's the only time I can think of that I've eaten more than ten pancakes. Because <laughs> normally I'm like, yeah, pancakes, I'll have like three or six of them because I like to eat things in multiples when it comes to breakfast food. Mm. 
But yeah, after I finish that, uh, after I finish that Code Lyoko stream, I went to the IHOP the next day and had a frankly unreasonable volume of pancakes. My mom makes the best pancakes. Some of the neighbors make really good noodles. Oh, oh I'm really looking forward to making good, some good noodle soup. I got some, like, nice udon that just barely made it through the whole thing in Reno. Also, Magnus is so sleepy. Oh, and one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. I make bread. I do that. It's tasty. Do you have any neighbors? Um, kind of. I'm gonna say no. Because, like... I kind of have neighbors, but my neighbors are, like, half a mile that way, and, like, then the town of 100 people is, like, a mm, couple blocks that way. And that doesn't really count as a neighbor. I'm gonna say no, I don't really have neighbors. Oh, that sounds a bit lonely. Yeah, it kind of is. I have to drive a long way to get anywhere. It's isolated. There's a reason I live in there. My neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the vill for the whole village each day. That's a good idea. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. Well, they say it takes a village for a reason. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. Oh, well, I hope you don't mind me watching you. I'm old enough to help out. Oh, nice. Oh, I miss everyone. Oh, buddy. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? It's been a little bit. I'm sorry it's taking me so long. I wonder if they're worried about me. I hope I don't make them worry. But thinking of helping out, we should probably go now. Ooh, yeah, we should. You're right. Let's go. Elevator. Elevator. Oh, hey, welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? But, uh, well, I mean, he had to sleep. Oh, shoot, you've been waiting this whole time? And holding the door open? Well, I, uh, didn't want to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have told you to go on ahead. Well, don't worry about it. Elevator. character. Sure is. Thank you, Smile. Oh, no. It's gracious. I'm in elevator with him as I am. I'm also one of really got himself. This is really awkward. With himself. That's very... I appreciate that. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time, then? You heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, Glacier, should I... Oh, ask about the library. I want to know about the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Well, yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are really high maintenance. I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Glacier, anyway. Alright, Glacier, should I, uh, ask him about his job? What's he deliver? Well, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights mostly. But now I also deliver and refill high energy phosphor structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city stuff. Ooh! I used to have a really small army of delivery robots doing that. But lately, a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. Oh. I wish I wish we would have told the little delivery guy that we were gonna take a nap so they could sleep. Oh. How will the robots get fixed? No idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the lab. They seem really concerned about something else lately. Well, I'm not sure if we're a good sign when the smart folks are worried. No, 
All right. Should I ask about the city? Yes. Ask about the city, and then we'll resume our little awkward silence. How's that sound? The city's very big. Smaller than it looks. Crowded too. First there's the refugees from the parents, now more Glen folks are moving in. Oh, it's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not haven by any means. The square stuff we just saw, we have more of that than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. Yeah, I guess. The landmass itself is the. Yeah, that, that could be worse. Which is good, since there's no solid land here in the first place. Okay, elevator has completed. We don't have to sit, sit and worry about an awful silence. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh, Nico. Right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. Good luck with your deliveries. I'm sorry we didn't let you sleep. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry, too. People are counting on us. Let's go find the library. I agree. Where is library cat? Oh, he's flopped over on the bed. Don't you worry not about him. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. I agree. Valuable, valuable insight. Are you also gonna say beep boop? Okay. Off the side. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, you think you can fix your world? You think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I'm getting mixed messages. I don't know. What do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Glacier. After all, Glacier helped me get this far. Oh, you did help you. I'll take your faith for an answer, then. What do you mean by that? It's whatever you think it means. I just given this person a little bit of an existential crisis? Sorry, sir. Uh, this has to be the library, right? There's a little light above it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, nope, can't go that way. Let's go a little further this way. Just to make sure there's nothing going on. Make sure we're not missing any people. There's some arrows there. There's some steps there. Hi! This is why I was looking. Evening news. Evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No. The newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? These people who aren't kids. Kids? Er, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. Okay, well, let's go inspect these things from left to right now that we've seen everything. There's an area over here that looked like it had a door, right? Oh, no, those are just streets. These are all just going to be streets, I see. Street. Oh, okay, we can go this way. Whoop. Ooh, it's kind of dark back here. This oh, what is that? I don't like it. I agree, Nico, with the face you're making. Glacier, did you see what happened? Yeah. My vision went blank for a second. Then I saw something. In a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. I'm just gonna turn around and leave. We'll come back to this later if we have to. Goodbye! <laughs> no! We're gonna see what's down here first. We'll come back to the alleyway if we need it. I don't wanna- I don't wanna get Nico hurt. He's a little god. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thank you. Yes, library. Wait, wait, wait. I think there was a person. Hey, you are you a person? The world ends would be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away. Definitely in an instant. Sorry, that's my first thought. What is all over the floor? Why is there water all over my floor? Oh. It's the spray bottle. The spray bottle opened. I was like, ah! Anytime there is water that I do not expect on my floor, I'm immediately like, what's leaking? Because I've had three random things leak in here. Eight. And then it occurs. Okay, that'll do. Um. To be honest, I'd rather the former. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I would rather the world end with 
very quickly, just long enough to, for me to acknowledge that the world is ending and that I can't do anything about it. And I would hope that I am around my loved ones in that case. It'd make it a lot easier. Anyway, the library. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> what? Why <laughs> oh, didn't say anything? Well, stop staring at me then. There's just the whole your book. Yes, you're in the library. There's books in the library. Oh, go, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Dang, okay. Don't talk to the people in here. I mean, they're in a library. It kind of makes sense. Do you imagine you're just like studying for your like midterms or something and somebody rolls up and just starts like boom over your shoulder reading? <laughs> Uh, I would be a little weirded out. I don't think I'd snap at them. I'd be like, Hi, you need my book? Hello, person. Hi! Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will! I will too. <gasps> oh, hey, wait. Oh, excuse me. A computer, it's currently on. Talk to this one. There's some beaded bags. Oh, hey, you. Are you reading? Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Uh, let me see. This area, this area is here. It's mostly stone book house. Reference is downstairs. And uh, I'm not sure where the children section is. Sorry. Well, that's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, you're here to look for the author then? Capital A Author. Oh, well, that's good. Um, you know, and the guy's won't even disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him nothing once. He works together with the head librarian and publishing, so you think he'd be showing up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kind of exclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Well, thank you for that input. But he won't get my hopes up. The author is so cool. I already could travel all over the world with a flying machine. Let me get this material for his books. Wow. I agree. Wow. I wasn't expecting people to have planes in this universe. I mean, kind of silly. They have whole robots, but I don't know. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry. These are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Oh, why for? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author's just gonna write about the same thing, and then everyone will love it. Oh. Nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before his. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Taking psychic damage from this NPC. Oh, uh. I mean, I could hit on him. I can see why people go nuts over this stuff. The guy's got major talent. But it just. It hurts, you know? It does hurt. It hurts a lot. It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. It's because you're a cat. Person, cats are pets. Oh, I'm sorry, you're a cat person. Mm, no, sirs. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. I would hope you don't eat mice. You're a little. You're a little too aware. Well, then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Sorry, there was text there. Give me a second. Man, 
don't know if I got it all. I crossed out a whole half of books worth, and I still think there's some in there. I'm done for. Well, I guess being called a cat isn't all that bad. As long as people don't assume you eat mice. You know who doesn't eat mice? This one. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was framed. <laughs> He's used to me picking him up when he's done something wrong. Um, this one doesn't eat the mice. What he'll do is he catch the little mouse. His little mouth right here. And you know what he'll do? He'll come up to me and be like, I caught a mouse today! And I'm like, good job! Now finish it off! And he goes, Bip! And it's a live mouse, and it runs over my chest and freaks out, and I go, ah. <laughs> Okay, is there anybody in these shelves? No. Oh, Icky Beats. We have to talk to the one with Icky Beats. So, what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Uh, yeah, I'll get to it. Book. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphorus. Oh, it's literally, as a general rule. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit ex unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Chapter 5. A Survey of Phosphors Found in the Natural World Blue Phosphor Location of the Barrens out of the common phosphorus, blue phosphorus of moderate level of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the barrens. The organic form is most commonly found in phosphor shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue phosphorus is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. But most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using a blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at a baseline and level of activity to ensure constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, large phos live phosphor shrimp can be used. Green phosphor, location of lead. Out of the three most common phosphors, green phosphor is the highest energy. It is also the rarest of the common phosphors, as it can only be found in organic form. Known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in the ubiquitous ground-covering moss of the glen, it is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use, uh, however, due to its relative scarcity and past over parsing years over harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least the locals of the glen still have enough to get by. Red phosphor, location of the rest of the energy. Out of the common phosphors, red phosphor is of the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water channels can be concentrated and induced with currents. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is that the phosphor in this supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using a supersaturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are prop proper services or facilities that can replace it frequently. Hmm. Fascinating. Can I reach that book that's up there? Can I? <laughs> Wait, genuinely can I? Is there stuff in the way? Or oh, no way I can. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, Emergence of New Eco e e Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Phosphor shrimp, also known as seed shrimp in certain vernaculars due to the shape of their transparent coat, these aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the ocean surrounding the barrens. They have dorsal phosphor, phosphor, phosphor glands, and they, uh, they use blue phosphor. Abdominal phosphor, phosphor organs are present in a common fire form, 
which is a nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow, sometimes captured en masse and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the glen's residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using phosphor shrimps to do the same. Neat! Okay, let's talk to this person in the bean bag. What did you have to say? The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost a human pace. In fact, he's put more books out in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to Head Librarian, there's still a large amount of material he's written, but not yet published. And one cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, the numbers simply don't add up. He's using ghostwriters. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Oh no, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. Wait. Time. The guy. <laughs> You're going through those pages pretty fast. Yeah, actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! I agree, neat. Wait a minute, is that also a person up there? Hi, I would like to talk to you. The other's latest books are really something yet. The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? There are big companions. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels mostly. Fair enough. Well, we're gonna keep going upstairs. Uh, angry back muscles. Excuse me. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? This big robot said there'd only be clues here. Well, that is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oop, dial tone. She is not picking up. Mm. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. Spill up. Very mildly. I just dropped a piece of ice onto the little washcloth that I used to wipe up her hair. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes! You meet her in person, then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Is there anything over here? No, a coffee pot. Is there anything over here? A person? A computer? Hello. I'm a third cup of coffee. I can't feel my lips. Oh no, maybe you should stop. Um. But I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Uh. Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers! <laughs> Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where did I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her again. Oh, she picked up. Picking up. Hey, cured. Hey, she can't just let me through. Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? what? Even an emergency? 
My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. There that is again! Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe there's a book on robot taming in here somewhere. Books are placed neatly on the shelf. More neatly placed books. More. Oh, wait a minute. On the shelf for neatly placed books. It was different. Wait a second. Neatly placed books are on the shelf. On the shelf, neatly are placed books. Placed books are on the shelf, neatly. Books are on the shelf, neatly placed. Okay, it's slightly different each time. I'm not going crazy. Let's see if we can find a book on robot taming, maybe? Hmm, have we been in here? We have not been in here. No, wait, this is the guy who's crossing out the books. The books are neatly placed on the shelf. Neat shelf books. It's an ink bottle completely. It's an ink bottle completely, completely full. It doesn't bring back memories, doesn't it? I agree. Small pile of books. Tall pile of books. Ooh. A book. <laughs> a pile of books on the ground. Why are there so many piles of books on the ground in this library? Hmm? Maybe the shelving robots are busy. Placed books are neatly on the shelf. On the shelf are neatly placed books. Ooh. Maybe we need to go down the spooky... The spooky alleyway. I don't know. Piles of books on the ground. I just wanted to check the shelves if they're shelving. Real quick. Reshelving in progress. No. Nope. Okay. Guess we gotta go down the spooky alleyway. I really didn't wanna. Unless there's something over on the other- Ooh, wait a minute, it's, there's another way over here, isn't there? Okay, let's see, what, let's see what's over here before we go down the spooky alleyway, shall we? Doors? It's locked from the inside. Well, there's our answer. I guess we have to go check out the spooky alleyway. It was spooky earlier. I don't wanna. Then the game's like, go this way, and I'm like, oh. doing in here. I don't know why this is making me nervous. I feel like something's gonna jump out of me. Jar a jar full of red glowing fluid. How can I borrow this? There's some big plastic discs in there. Looks like we're supposed to go in something. Wait, are we really gonna take these with us? They look so heavy. Okay. Thank you. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Note attached. It says, "Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter." No, we stole Mr. Lamplighter's CD collection. I'm sorry. It's a big book. The title says, "Understanding Robots." Can we read it? Oh no. Okay. Okay. What else is there? He oh. Oh, new area. Hi, you look busy. I did. Want some soup dumplings? I do want some soup dumplings. They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproduct. Well, I do like a minimal amount of industrial byproduct. Oh, pass. That does make me want soup dumplings, though. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted bread myself. I see. Man, now I want soup dumplings. Are you here for your photos? No. Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stick. This stand smells like a bit like burnt sugar? <laughs> yep, still get the hand making these fried candy skewers. Fried candy skewers? It don't taste so bad, though. You want one? It's okay. Thank you, though. Hey, 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 ready for me to blow your mind? Sure. Okay, so I've invented a medicine. 
prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is just fill one of these pills in water. Okay. And then you drink the water. Okay. And then you never need to drink water again. Doesn't sound safe. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sip? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me, go spread the word. Okay, I'm a little suspicious though. Why do you want... Oh, those doors open. Okay. I wasn't expecting those to open. Well, at least there's nice music in- Whoa! What's this thing? Is this the capital T tower? Whoa! Oh. I don't know what's happening. Sure seems interesting, though. I feel like the, uh... The make make plant go burr juice will come in handy. Looks like we can unlock this door. Yeah, that was the door we saw earlier. Let's go. So now we can get there from here. Um, do we have any coffee? Coffee is sort of water. What if we put the pill in the coffee and then force one of the plants to grow? That could get the librarian's attention. Maybe. Oh, wait, no, not going the right way. Hmm. So that's my first thought. I'm like, ooh. Well, this guy's been drinking some more. Ding! Unauthorized entry. Library card required. I know, I know. I was also thinking the exact same thing, Nico, so. Okay, so let's grab the empty tube. A coffee machine. Can't use the empty tube in the coffee machine. Never mind. We need to keep walking around. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the spooky alleyway, I guess. Toast, 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 toast. Hoping that I can get to another good stopping. Oh, I can go in here. I didn't know I could go in here. Oh, hey there. You caught a fish. Yeah, I'm worried about it. Oh? I heard something about how the square part of the stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Hey, can I borrow a little of your water, please? Right, I can refill the tube with more water here. Okay, and then can I apply the water pill? What do I need to use the water pill on? Not Nico. Oh, we have lenses. But what do we need the lenses for? To put the pill in the water? Yep. It is all really fast. Okay, now we have medicated water and a bunch of lenses. Can we use those for? I wonder. We haven't seen anything we need to use a lens for. Oh, what if we can go? The simulator goes back into the catwalks. We'll need to press the button if we want to go back up. Can we go back up and pour the medicated water on the seed? Because it makes plants grow. Let's try that. I don't know that it's going to grow. It to, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. I feel like I mean, even if it, it isn't something necessary, I feel like I would feel better for having gotten a little seed to grow. So. We've given it dirty water, but that, will that be enough? Uh, we're about to find out. Uh, medicated water. 
Good thinking. This water should really help the seed grow. Grow, little seed, grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Tiny leaf. Good luck, little plant. I agree. Good luck, little plant. Messiah, do you need help? Uh, yeah, explain again. You're going to need to find a way to get into the library on the surface. Yep. We can move in there. Hmm. Wait, since we're back up here, can we talk to... Wait, no, we need to be down here to talk. Can we talk to the flock guy? Might be the off a guy. Time here is precious. Please do cherish it. I will. Uh, do we have anything to show him? Lenses? Good evening. I don't pay attention to this lens you Somebody stop me. <laughs> yeah, fuck my time. It is a ram. It's got horns. Here's another place we can go. Oh, it's strangely warm in this room. Oh, well, you look warm. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost. I've got a clean shooting guy. It's true. I see. Oh, that looks 
looks important. Oh, a little fox. Whoa! Quincy, did you see that fox just now? Yeah, I did. I called him out and everything. It ran just behind the tree. Oh. Oh, that's the that's the silhouette we saw earlier. Did it? I'm sorry if you're looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. Ooh. Can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. No, I, I, I guess that means beat up the game after we finish things? There's no one here. Huh. I guess if we can find a way to return, we'll return. Oh, I feel so bad for the little robot. He's getting eaten by all those red squares. Poor little guy. Hey, you. How do you feel about some concave lenses? Where'd you find all your cats? They found me on the road. So I stay here now. Oh. Well, it's good that you're not alone, at least. At least I met some robots in other areas stationed all by themselves. They look kind of bad. With robots, it's alright. We are not like people who are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. Well, you talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Is this robot tame? Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley, but there are a few. One of them even lives here. I see. You've been here for a while. Are you sure you don't wish to stay? I'm good. Thank you for offering, though. Is that all the dialogue? Okay. Bye. Thank you for staying. Little Shay. What do you think, Mr. Magnus? What do you think we should do? I feel like the lenses are important, but I don't know where to use them yet. Hmm. Also, my toes are cold. It's not related. I have to turn the one heater off when the sound gets funny. My toes are cold because of it. I feel like we need the lenses for something. But... Hmm? Yeah. Uh-huh. What's up? What do you need? Oh, you want me to fetch? Okay. Thank you for asking first. No, I'm not sure. Everybody wave hi to Magnus, by the way. He's been co-hosting here for a little bit. Haven't you? Appreciate your help. shake. What do we think? What do we think we do with the lenses, Magnus? Hmm? Magnus seems to have been freed from his little shirt. We'll see if that holds all week. Wait, can I apply the lenses to my light? <gasps> I'm holding a light. I can apply lenses to my little light. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need this hand. Ow, ow, those are my legs you're stabbing. Stab them less, please. You can't combine the lenses. Can't combine the lenses and the light bulb, rather. What if we apply the lenses to each other? We can't apply the lenses to each other. What if we apply the- oops. I didn't mean to use the weird film. If we apply the lenses to the film, nothing happens. Oh well. I don't quite know what to do. Hmm. I suppose this is time to ask the internet, because we're pretty stuck. Let me turn off the other heater while I'm at it, actually. So we're not just sitting here watching me type. Ooh, turn off 
the heater, so it's less cold in here. One shot lenses. Four photo lens puzzle. To arrange the lenses into a four element lens design lens design common among camera lenses so we would put the thick lens the con okay so according to this photograph we would put the con vex lens out front no wait we put the thick lens and then the convex lens and then the thin lens and then the concave lens but I'm not where that needs to be the, where do I where do I go for it though Talk to Kip. Who oh, Kip? There's a camera somewhere. Okay. So there's a camera somewhere and there's someone we need to talk to. And then the camera we can apply lenses to. Maybe let's go talk to the street vendors again? Where are the street vendors? The street vendors were the alleyway. We met somebody named Kip. I don't know that we've met somebody named Kip. Have we been in this building? This is the water guy. Hello, water guy. Thank you for your help with the plans. Um. Oh. Let's go back up here and talk to the street vendors. They might have something to say. Hey, street vendors. Soup dumplings? No, not soup dumplings. Who are you? Hey, you looking? Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to find a library card now. Have any idea where I can get one from the library? I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, um, let me check out the factory. Just take the stairs to the end of the street and make a turn. Scientists there. Scientists read books, right? I May mean, I help you? Okay. Take the stairs at the end of the street. Thank you, delivery person. Wait, wait, wait. What's in this building? Wait, is this a camera? There's a slot here. It looks like paper or something might come out from it. <gasps> camera. How do I put the lenses in? Oh, oh, you put the lenses in left to right. Okay, so thick lens, convex lens, no, 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 concave lens, no, yes, no, no, convex lens, and then thin lens, no, 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 I've got the convex and concave backwards, so concave, and then concave. Huh. So how do I activate the camera? Oh. Well, that seems to be working. Uh, keys? Oh. Oh, my eye. Oh, sorry, buddy. You didn't know about camera flashes, did you? Photo of me. Why is it always this big? There's a slot here. We did that already. Photo of Nico. Oh, it's a little photo of Nico. I feel like that's important. Okay, so we take the stairs, and there are scientists down here. Maybe. Oh, ooh. it's a new room. Oh.
serious music. Ooh. Ooh, this looks like a lab. Hey, you, what the, what's going on here? Door's locked. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must first pass the security system test. Uh-huh. You must change the colors of the lights into a specific configuration. Follow me. It's correct. Nine tries left. Okay. So since zero lights were correct, let's inver- Oh! Oh, they're colors. Two lights correct. Zero tries- Eight tries left. I should have asked somebody for a hint. So two of these lights are correct. Which means none of the green ones are correct, probably. Let's change, let's change the blue ones and find out. It says zero lights correct, we know the blue ones were right. Four lights correct. Uh-oh. That means more of these green ones are correct. Seven tries left. Okay, let's change this one. Four lights correct. Five lights correct. Access ground, okay. Sure. Alright. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be sitting here on this logic puzzle for a thousand years. Okay, what's going on in here? Oh no, that's not good. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I went for a minute. Oh, your robot! Are you okay? Please do not. Oh, buddy. What am I gonna do? Oh, I agree. What are you gonna do? Oh no, that poor robot. Oh, spin! Look at this man spinning. I cannot stop spinning. Oh no, less comfortable. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle an anomalies is almost impossible to revert. And no living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. If we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. Not before taking away one of the robot's arms, or legs, or head. Okay. Robot. Boop, we are waiting to be repaired. Boop, we are waiting to be repaired. Boop, we are waiting to be repaired. Are they all just boop, waiting to be repaired? Yeah. Good luck. You have a television for it. Oh no, you have a camera for it. So tedious. It's the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. All the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really, but your head is a TV. What does that have to do with anything? Um, never mind. Okay, it is a TV tube. I was like, oh, it's a folding camera. No, it's a TV tube. Hello. You have a coffee pot for Adam? Hmm. You often would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. I hope Silver's okay. You can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Silverpoint get all that energy? Oh, we've already been here. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. Mr. Particles took out a few of my robots last week and. She fell asleep. Oh, no. Get some sleep. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with early findings. Not good at all. Oh, no. Monitoring, monitoring. Square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Oh no! Now the water analysis project. I feel bad for using your water sample. Hello? Oh shoot! I didn't know you'd be here so soon. I didn't turn off the, the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. At least you helped me solve it. Do they now? So, 
can I help you with anything? Is this silver from earlier, or am I seeing things? Yeah. Do you know I can get a library card? Library card? You must ask the library for that. I tried. I needed to see that librarian, but I can't see her without a library card. At the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? <laughs> it sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Oh, wait, I know. I just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition. My photo on the card doesn't match you. Unless I take a photo of my face to your face. Huh? That was a joke. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. When worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. It did, actually, on accident. Something's poking out from the shelf. The tube of glitter glue. Well, you can have that, you can have that if you want. I mean, you're gonna need to glitter things up, huh? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I got tons of those. Thank you. Oh, I know exactly what we're gonna do. Hey, Glacier? Does that lady look kind of familiar to you? It does look like silver. I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. I also want to ask her about it. We should. Yes, let's go back and show her the amber. Oh, no. Oh! Uh, that, that's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. So for context, uh, for those of you who weren't here for the first stream, uh, Silver was the mining, uh, was the head of the mining, uh, areas thing. And they seemed like they were a much different robot than the rest of the robots around us in the world. And there was some things, there was some environmental text that was alluding to the fact that there was an accident in the mines with a robot involved. And that kind of implies that that accident that happened was because of Silver not quite being finished yet. Which is not good. Okay, let's go up to the library desk and be like, we have a library card. And then they're going to be like, you don't have a library card, that's somebody else's. Hi, I'd like to use Kip's library card. Authenticating, barcode, execu executing, facial recognition, photo match failed. Seems you do not resemble the owner of the card. You cannot use this card. 
Bummer. Okay. Well, now we have glitter glue. The card is covered in glue. And glitter. Sticky library card. The card has my face on it now. We glued the photo of Miko. Of Nico onto it. Kips library card. Authenticating barcode, executing facial recognition, photo match successful. You are good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Uh, maybe I should have changed the name. Oh, alarm clock. Oh, plant. Just a little office plant. Some little. It's full. A little garbage can and a little... An old phone. Excuse me? Hey! Who the heck do you think you are barging in here like that? I don't care if you're the messiah. Manners are still a thing. Um... Sorry? Well, you just here to apologize? Y yes I mean, no. I mean, I need your help. I'm not sure what I need to do next. I think I need to go in the tower? Seriously? You haven't figured that one out yet? I don't know how to get in. Well, I don't know either. Can Glacier help you with that? All I know is that nobody from this world can get in there. Not beyond the tiny entrance room, anyway. If anything, there might be a book on how the Messiah of all people can get in. But I don't got anything like that in my collection. I'd like to. I see. Boxes are full of loose papers and notebooks. What, you never seen manuscripts before? So books look like before they get published, kid. I see. You help me publish books? Whoa! Why do you think I why do you think I have literal mountains? It was manuscripts here. He just wouldn't stop sending me the thing. Man, oh man, does that guy work fast? I just couldn't keep up. One day he just stopped. About time, I'd say. It's also weird since it's him. But worst part of all, even after he stopped bombarding me, the piles of material I have on hand never seem to get any smaller. It's like the boxes are magically filling themselves back up every time I turn around. What's even happening? Are you okay? No! A book is poking out from the shelf. Hmm. Another fruitful visit to the Great Prophet today. She seemed high in spirits. She told me she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sounds of footsteps on a wood floor. Regrettably, she's unsure of the house's location. Rashis was also present at the meeting. I, also, I ended up visiting his house later, and we swapped notes. He's been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, the older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him, as I did his father. Huh. There's a black clover symbol on the There's a black clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, and this other book has a clover in its spine. And the rest of these books too. Are they all about clovers? What? Of course not! It's just how the author marks his work. Oh? Because he has to keep up with a mysterious persona, I guess. He's never even told me his name. Well, wait, wait. He wrote all of these books? Yes. Yes, he did. Don't touch that! It's finished by the end of the week! Oh, sorry. People are literally lining up to read his books! Oh. What does he write about? What doesn't he write about? I mean, George just wrote about the entire universe while you're taking a coffee break. It's several million volumes. Where's that guy get all this free time? All this talk of free time is making me suspect the little clock man very much. The book is poking out from the shelf. Well, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Oh, 
Another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. And there's a little there's a little cap with some goggles and a book with a clover on the front and a glass of something, probably water. And the next page, uh, various sketches for practice. There's a little vase of with three flowers in it. There's a singular flower. There's a little tankard. Uh, there's a little volcano. And there's a little slice of cake and a little cherry on top. Pokes oh. poking out from the show. Hey! I think this book's actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, leaves display incredible iridesc iridescence when exposed to sun. These curious plants are the most are most resilient, and can even thrive in the metallic sand of the harsh climate of the Barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing for the moss uh, for the moss's resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may have been the first life forms to colonize our world. Fascinating. Thankfully, Dr. Silverboy's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to the limited resources this time, but it should still be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The, the late prophet's messages. The team suggested that taming it was a lost cause. There's a little robot diagram of the uh, person who gave us the prophecy at the beginning. They use uh, the specific notes are blue phosphor, rounder look, redesigned internal audio receptor, compatible with longer clothing, and a wireless signal amplifier is the little staff. Huh. The bookshelf. A box full of no 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 notebooks. What's in here? Bed. I don't think this is a good time for a nap. Nap soon, though, little guy. A book on the ground. But she deeply believed in multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six... Which one did you pick? Which one did we encounter? Let's go look at her talk sprite. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, you're number two. Well, since you aren't here, it'd be rude for me to tell you to leave. You, uh, have any questions about books? Or you can read something here, I don't care. Just don't make a mess. Sure. The computer screen says something about updated databases. No, I don't even start on the database. Looks like a printer. It looks like a scanner. Okay, I think we've read all the books. The fridge is full of bottled water and takeout boxes. Yeah. Don't I know that feeling? Okay, can I just... Work, 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 work! Work, 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 work! Work, 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 This is the library person. Can we use the phone? Ooh. It's a home phone. Okay. We have a library card. What if we show the lady our library card? Well, since you're already here, it'd be rude for me to tell you to leave. Just don't make a mess. The journal! What if we show them the journal? Hey, journal. Oh! I have this book! I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Oh? Let me see. Oh. Oh, of course. Of course! Um, more work for George. Fine! Hey, uh... Kid. Mika. We'll just come out have to translate this for you. It might take a while. Okay. Aw, oh, yawn. Thanks, 
Excuse me. I know that feeling, kid. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. Well, that's not good. You know what? I have a guest room in the attic down the hall. Go take a nap. Just looking at you getting tired is making me tired. Okay, little Nico. It's time for you to go take your little nappy nap. We have streamed long enough, and I'm almost out of time. Time for nappy, Nico. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes, take your little nappy nap, Nico. Enjoy your nap, sir. We'll see you next week. <laughs> okay, now that Nico is down for his nap, I think we can call it an evening. Uh, this game is really good, and I'm very curious what the last act is going to have for us. It started talking about multiverse theory there, so I'm like, huh, is this how the game explains it's going to reach through the screen? Uh, we had a really, really fun fourth wall break this uh this particular uh, session, I really loved dragging the uh, film out of the screen to get it to develop. You know, we expose it to, uh, you know, some kind of odd radiation that's not necessarily present there. I think it's really interesting. This game is really shaping up to be absolutely fascinating and uh, color me very interested. Anyway, uh, we'll be reading... Uh, more John Carter next week or later in the week on Friday. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Bless you, Magnus. Uh, we'll be playing this at least one more time. Uh, same Tuesday as usual. Uh, after we're done with one shot, which should be relatively soon. After we're done with one shot, we'll move on to another game. Uh, I must admit i have two or three options that i haven't settled on yet so i will have picked a game in time i promise uh but when we do pick another game after we are done with one shot i want to make that abundantly clear after we are done with one shot we're going to be trying thursday nights for stream and we'll be playing a game for a little while i have a couple of games on the table we'll see but we'll give Thursday nights a try for a little while after we're done with one shot. It's still the same bat time, same bat channel right now. It's not going to change until we have finished one shot. I want to make that abundantly clear. And regardless of whatever the non-paper cut day is, paper cuts is going to remain on Friday because I like having it there. So uh, definitely come to an end of john carter uh like i said we are starting the series at the beginning i'm just calling it john carter because that has more recognition among people uh we might be doing something in the discord keep one eye on the discord in general uh i've been doing a lot more with the discord as of late so i want to remind you that exists i what do you mean i hit caps lock there we go uh, I want to remind you the Discord exists. I, I've been doing a lot more there. I've been trying to post more, you know, this and that. Anyway, keep one eye on the YouTube. Uh, I've been working on a lot of VODs lately. We should be posting stuff very soon, uh, just as soon as I catch up, which I'm getting really close to. Uh, final thoughts. This gin was really good. Uh, I'm not going to show you the brand, but I will show you the design on the bottle, suchly that you can maybe find it somewhere uh it's kind of got like a green art deco thing going on it's not perfectly clear either which is fascinating because the rest of the non-alcoholic gins i have had have been pretty much perfectly clear like there's no there's been no cloudiness to them uh it was really good i really like it i will be continuing to use it uh when Raz comes out this way eventually, I will definitely be saving some for her as well. Uh, anyway, I've rattled on for long enough. Uh, let's call it an evening. Uh, if you're here live, uh, we're not going to raid anybody because I want to go watch the... <laughs> uh, I, I'm probably not going to raid anybody because I want to watch the Artemis launch, but have a great evening, anybody, everybody. Uh, I'll see you Friday for Paper Cuts. Uh... Thank mm -hmm. you.